birthday! What? Again? Yeah, I know. They just, they just come around so quickly, don't they? Anyway, uh, yep, yeah, it's my birthday in a few days, so I've decided to celebrate with a new video. <laughs> Why not? Um, no idea what I'm going to do, but um, I've got some birthday stamps that I bought ages ago. I've never used them ever. I don't know why I bought them. Um, maybe I had the intention of creating some handmade cards or something. That never happened, so never mind. Um, I'll just create an art journal page just for me. Um, that's what I normally do anyway, but this time I might just go a bit crazy. Maybe put some shiny things. Who knows? It's my birthday, so I can do whatever I like, right? <laughs> and if it's your birthday, then happy birthday to you too. Um, all right, well, let's get going. Feels so special. Yeah, I'm very special. <laughs> can you see the wrinkles? There's no filter here, so... Ah! Actually, Poppy's going to do a page today as well, so watch out. Who knows what he's going to do? Say bye. Well, it's a beautiful sunny day, winter sunny day today. So what better way to spend it than um, to create some art in my journal? Um, so like I said, I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I know I'm going to start with protecting my pages here. Just in case I make a mess, but of course I will. It's not fun if you don't. And then, um, I don't know, maybe I'll just I feel like some purple. I'm going to use this purple and a brush. Next, um, let's do a bit of a few splashes. Well, <laughs> okay, then I didn't realize my bottle was still open, so that's cool. got some new stamps so might as well take this opportunity to try them uh, let's see oh, just beautiful roses here uh, maybe we could do some white ink but my desk is so messy today okay Let's see what these babies look like. Our brand new cling stamps are always so difficult to get off the sheet. Wow. Jeez, we have broken a, an arm doing this. All right, let's try the fat one first. I can peel it off, that is. Blimey. It's gonna be my exercise for today, guys. Been so lazy lately since I got married, basically. <laughs> Just, uh, it's true what they say. It was only a, a few months ago, but um, I've been quite relaxed since. God, this is so difficult to peel off. It's insane. Yay! I got it. Whew, well, hopefully it'll be worthwhile. All right, at least it'll be quite sticky. Let's try some Moonlight White. And I will put all the, um, the supplies I'm using in this video on my blog, so you can have a look if there's something that you'd like to try as well. Uh, let's put one here. Uh, 
That's nice. I think the best one is the, the white here on the pink. So gorgeous. There you go. Give you an idea of what it looks like if you wanted to get the same stamp set. Very nice. Try to add a little bit of color on some of the roses and see how that looks. I'm just going to use some lightish colors for now. See what we get. Um, let me do some subtle color. So that is a little bit, maybe a little bit too transparent here. Fluff a little while having fun um, painting in those roses um, and I did it in a bit of a sort of messy style on purpose just to have this sort of um, painterly effect and I'm going to use a white gel pen to sort of loosely go around um, the outlines and You know what guys, I absolutely love my flowers. I'm so excited. I just love, 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 love them. Simple and messy, but just so cool. I mean, I don't know if you agree. 
I hope so, but I absolutely love this page. I just uh, I just don't want to even touch it just because I'm afraid I'm going to mess something up now. It looks so good. <laughs> um, but no, we must keep going. We must uh, be more adventurous. Um, but um, it's still my birthday, right? So I left a little space here. I thought maybe I could put a little cupcake. <laughs> I know it's a little bit random, but um, I love cupcakes, so... Um, I make them all the time. I even made them as part as um, of our uh, wedding cake. I made a, a cupcake tower. It took me ages to cook all of those, but um, turned out really well. I was very excited, and they look really good. So a bit of a cupcake addiction, addiction, I'm afraid. So I thought maybe I'll just put one here. It's a cheeky little note. Um, so I think I'm gonna still stick with the white ink um, like I used before and then I should probably use an acrylic block first to make it easier that I'm going to use on this journal page I had to write it down because you know getting old after all my brain's not what it used to be <laughs> um, and it says I actually adapted it by changing the word your to my um, because it's my birthday oh I've already said that sorry <laughs> um, anyway so the quote will say may my heart always be joyful and may my song always be sung may I stay forever young isn't it beautiful? Uh, I think it is. So I'm um, going to handwrite it uh, because stamping it would just take forever and would not really look um, that great with the rest of the pages. You know, it would just look a bit too neat when I'm going for a bit of a uh, clearly <laughs> a slightly messy um, and hand, hand created, I guess. <laughs> so I'm going to um, try to fill this space with this quote. And um, in a pen with a pencil first, and then I'll decide what I want to do to highlight it. So it blends in a little bit more. It's not it doesn't stand out um, too too much, but at least it blends with the rest of the style of my pa two pages here. So I'm quite happy with that, and I like how the black sort of gives a bit of a sort of slight shadow. And uh, you probably saw me uh, move things around a little bit earlier. It's because I wanted to include a little um, banner here. I think it's pretty cute and um, just give it a little festive touch <laughs> so I'm just going to add that um, I think I'm gonna do it in black first or sort of a dark gray instead so it's not too strong and then I might color it in It's 
something around here as well. Just gonna have a look uh, in my little stamp collection. It's not huge, and there are quite a few I don't actually even use. Um, so that's a tip from me to use that um, before you decide to buy a stamp, especially a stamp set, they're usually not cheap. Uh, <laughs> Just uh, have a really good think about um, how many times you're going to use them. Sometimes you find cheap ones and they, um, they're quite appealing because they're quite cheap and then you don't actually end up using very much, which is what's happened to me. Um, I may add a little bird. A little bird here. I know these elements are a little bit sort of cartoony and a bit different from the the other style, but I don't really mind actually. I quite like it. I find that I've got you know I love many different styles and um, it's quite frustrating sometimes because you can't really combine them together. Or, well, you could, but it doesn't always pay off. But um, you know this is my journal page anyway so I can experiment that's what it's all about I'm gonna put a little birdie right here Okay, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done. I'm very, very happy um, with these pages. Really love them. So happy. And they turned out really well. Had a bit of trouble with my white pen, um, pens actually, because uh, I think one of them must be dying. This one, yeah, it looks like it's pretty much empty. So the, the ink wasn't coming out quite happily. But anyway, that's all right. I was going for a bit of a sketchy look anyway to go with the rest of the pages. I did some little uh, white hearts, just um, little white elements to unify, um, you know, the whole design. And also because it's important to love yourself, remember that. Actually, this is Poppy coming back, shaking himself. I've, I've put a little bell on around his neck, so, you know, just like cats, so I know where he is at all times. <laughs> it's easy to lose these little dogs because they're so mischievous. But anyway, um, both their pages are done. I hope that you love them as much as I do. Just a little bit of a close-up. I'll try to go quite slow, not to make you too dizzy. And um, if it gives you some inspiration, let me know. If you create something um, based on those pages that you that may have um, inspired you, then send me a photo. You know, you can just pop over to my website, send me an email. Um, post me a message there on the blog page where you'll find all the supplies that I used, or at least most of them. Um, yeah, leave me a comment there. It's great. It's even better than on YouTube because I can get to them uh, a lot better and it's a little bit more personal. So I hope you enjoy these pages and um, I'm off to celebrate a little bit now and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. <laughs>